A recent Homeland Security sting in North Texas where dozens of men were arrested shows there are many of them going online to find prostitutes. These are mug shots of some of the 46 men busted. They include a pro athlete, a youth pastor, a high school teacher and coach, and executives. The Dallas DHS office says what they do exploits and victimizes trafficking victims. Fox Sports David Centenary joining us with more on the sex trafficking investigation and where it led. David. Yes, yeah, Steve, one nonprofit working to help sex trafficking victims tells me DFW is a hot spot. One, because of its population size, that's the obvious, and two, because of its transportation of highways, allowing people to get to and from many different areas throughout the country. So I asked them, what is typical of sex trafficking suspects? And they told me the only thing that's typical is that it can be almost anyone. We are learning more about 46 people, a majority shown here, who were arrested at upscale hotels in Frisco and South Lake as part of a multi-agency prostitution sting earlier this month. It's happening more than people think and know. Spencer Osachok, a 31-year-old professional hockey player who's been with the Allen Americans of the East Coast Hockey League since 2013, according to the team's website, is one of dozens charged with solicitation of prostitution. The team tells Fox 4, quote, we are aware of the situation. We don't have a comment at this time as we gather more information. A Baylor Scott and White Health Director of Operations, 49-year-old Jimmy Hemingway is also charged. Baylor says Hemingway is no longer an employee. But this is happening. It's happening right up under our nose. It's happening right in our backyards. Dr. Tanya Stafford Manning runs It's Going to Be Okay, a Dallas-based nonprofit working to assist victims of human trafficking. Nobody wants to get up and be a prostitute. Nobody wants to be trafficked. Nobody wants to be sold. The dozens of men charged responded to online advertisements for prostitution, according to the Department of Homeland Security. But instead of communicating with women being trafficked, they were unknowingly communicating with law enforcement. Homeland Security did not detail what the posts read. Meetups were arranged at hotels with the coordination and cooperation of hotel management and staff. I think other people were shocked by it because of who was implicated in the sting itself. Louisville ISD confirms Marcus High School teacher and assistant football coach Cecil Tim Morrison is one of the men charged. Morrison resigned from his job, according to the district. LaMarcus Strickland, a youth pastor in Fort Worth, is also charged. Investigators did not reveal where he works. Homeland Security says a volunteer firefighter is also charged, but they did not reveal who. It's a human rights issue. It's a human issue. If you or someone if you or someone you know is a victim of sex trafficking, we've posted information on how to get help over on our website. That's fox4news.com.